If you ask me the question, was I scared of Stephen Hawking? And the answer is, you betcha, really scared. I used to joke that when I made the, the Thin Blue Line, I felt that there were a lot of people I was interviewing uh, who were much stupider than me. And this movie, where I felt there were a lot of people much smarter than me, daunting for that reason alone. But Hawking is immensely likable, perverse, funny. There is a contrarian, anarchic element that I find myself in complete sympathy with. And yes, he's a genius. What's there not to like? When I got to know him better, he let me sit next to him. And when you sit next to him and you look at the screen, it becomes a game. You see the beginning of the sentence. You sort of imagine how the sentence is going to end, what the next word is going to be, and so on and so forth. You're involved in that whole process with him. But the first time I met him, uh, which is in Cambridge, in his office at Dampt, um, I'm seated across from him. I can't see the screen. I don't even really know what's going on, clearly. You may read about what's going on, but until you've actually experienced it firsthand, you have no idea. You have no idea how long it takes him actually to compose an answer to a question. Um, the whole nature of the transaction. So you, you're thrown. I was thrown back on myself. You start free associating. I mean, what is he thinking? Does he like me? Does he hate me? Does he want me to leave now? Can I stay? What's going on? Um, uh, I've never really s experienced anything quite like it. 